Alright, this is uh, The Edge's first women's seminar. Um, we have uh, Jerry Gravada, we got James Harlan, this is my, my wife Janet. We're going to be helping a couple people work through uh, some issues, see what they need we can help them with, and uh, hope to get them on the uh, track to better help. When you begin your journey on this physically fit lifestyle type, maybe speak with your physician and have you know, yourself looked at, make sure all your numbers are right. Goes I've been training, I do a lot more training, like I say, for like bodyguard type things or any routine or stuff like that. Um, we're here basically just to help, like I say, some, you know, answer questions and help uh, out any, you know, women or men or whatever as far as, the, you know, uh, get their uh, exercise needs and just motivation to get started to get to the gym. So that's basically all we're here for. Uh, James? James Harlan, uh, been weightlifting now for 10 years, on and off, you know. Uh, I do it mostly as a hobby. I'm here today to just try to help uh, change some lives for the better. You know, uh, once you walk through that door, you're here for you, nobody else, and we're here to help bring you in and teach you some stuff to help you out. Yeah, I gotta give a, a shout out to James, who he just did get his personal training certificate, so, uh, so Bye, nice thanks, job. Thank you, thanks guys. Hey, I'll be starting my own show on the 28th, uh, up here at the Edge. Uh, I'm sure you guys stay tuned, and we'll see what we got for you. Just, just take some questions. If anybody's got any, got any questions as far as anything I would want to pick out of your mind that you know a question that we want that you want us to really kind of talk to or explain or anything that you know, like I say, that, that you kind of question you know that you don't have possibly an answer to that we can probably help you out with or just maybe just getting you know routine going. How did you achieve some progress? Um, just, just doing it right. Okay, so basically motivation, just getting yourself in, in here and you want to basically come in, feel comfortable and have Brian's going to set you up, like I say, as far as probably, like I say, what he'll have you know, do for you first is sit down, kind of get your goals situated, you know, so he can feel you two out. You, you basically like to train together, you're going to be coming together. So that's, I mean, that's a plus for both of you to get into the gym. I mean, it's always better to have somebody to come in with. I mean, you feel more comfortable in somewhere, you know, in a strange place, like say, Brian's real good with that. I mean, easily wise, he's easy to talk to. You know, basically, I mean, it'd probably be a good idea, you know, maybe to set up a time, just, you know, that way, you know, make sure he's here for you to, to get everything going. Set you up on, like I say, you know, as far as your workout, you know, kind of figure out, you know, weekly, how many days a week work for you, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you know, probably you want to get in here and do weights at least three days a week. You know, cardio five to six. That type of thing, you know. That that's what I would suggest. You know, I mean, if that works for you, it does. If you want to try and do weights more, that's fine too. But obviously, it, it matters if you're trying to lose body fat. You know, obviously the the weight, doing the weight on top of that, that's a plus. It's first you want to come in. I we'd probably talk to you about diet, get that set up. You know, straight up, get your diet kind of, you know, critique that, listen to you, see what you're, you know, kind of get. You know how many meals a day you're eating. Structure that into as far as how that's going to work. Is I don't want you losing more than two pounds a week. Okay, one to two pounds. That way we're not losing muscle mass. And I can say you're comfortable. You're still eating good stuff like that. You know what I mean? But obviously it comes down to what you're putting in your system. We talked about that a little bit. You know that that's the key of it all. But once you get on that routine, you know you know that stuff. You know. Uh, I mean, you know what to eat, how often you want to, you know, you should be eating and stuff like that. And then, then you're just coming in here and putting in the work in the gym. It's the, then it becomes, it becomes a lifestyle. So what, what do you guys think of like the whole low carb keto diet? I'm, I'm totally against that. Here's how I look at it. Keto, I mean, does it work? Yes, it will work, okay? And it will take weight off you fast, okay? The majority of people, you put it right back on within three months. See, the keto diet, I, you, you understand what, how it works? Okay, it's all based off in fat intake, okay? So basically what you're doing is you're taking all that in and what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to spike your body to burn fat for energy. That's what we're talking, and it does, don't get me wrong, okay? But now, like for me, or for us, as far as gaining muscle mass, no, no. Because you're also taking in low protein. That's a no-no for anybody that wants to mus gain muscle mass, okay? Now, if you're getting ready for a bodybuilding show or something, yes, you could use that at the straighter end. How that is, I mean, as long as you pay attention to your calories that you're taking in, 
and your calories that you're taking out, you're gonna lose weight and your exercise. I guarantee it. I mean, and again, uh, as far as how it comes off, how fast it comes off, that's an individual thing. You know, you might lose five pounds this week, six pounds next week, none the next week. You know, and that's what's kind of depressing for most people because they get caught up in the scale. You gotta throw the scale out the window. Seriously, it's all about clothing, the mirror, pictures. Pictures don't lie. You know, I mean, seriously. So that's what you kind of want to do. You know, I mean, obviously, the best part right now is you, you got yourself in the door. Having a partner is great because, I mean, if, if there's those days, one of you may not feel like coming in and the other one kind of push the other one. And it's great to have somebody to, yeah, just come in there do it together. Go. And Jerry's spot all with, with diet. Uh, I definitely try to stay away from like the processed foods and stuff. So at least the calories you're taking in, try to make sure they're good calories. Uh, just stay away from the processed stuff. That's that's a big thing. Drink plenty of water. It looks like you guys already stay away from the pop and stuff like that. So definitely on the right track there. So. So there's a lot of processing. You're using a lot of protein and vegetables and moving Protein, is your, okay, protein is your main, main thing, okay? Your nuts are obviously very good in protein, very high in fat, but it's good fat, okay? There's where you're getting your omegas. This is the fat we want. Like uh, avocados, that's the fat you want, okay? That's good for you, okay? Not saturated. You, like chicken, like I say, we're cooking chicken, chicken. Red meat, don't need to be afraid of red meat. I mean, you, you eat it, it just, it's, it's protein. I, it's a little bit higher in fat, yes, but. As long as we get it set with your calories, it's not a problem. Vegetables are carbohydrates, okay? You can eat as many as you want because they're not really high in carbohydrates. They, you know what I mean? So, and, and like I say, you don't, you don't need to be afraid of potatoes. Obviously, we're, now that's the kind of stuff where we need to cycle in certain times. You know what I mean? But, and then fish, salmon, any of that kind of eggs. People are afraid of eggs. You shouldn't be afraid. Whole eggs are very good for you. And if I have six eggs, I usually use at least three yolks. I mean, the yolks have got they're very, they've got for skin, hair, everything. It's, it's. I mean, like I say, the, the food's out there. You just have to know how to cycle. It. That's the key, and you have to find what you like. You, you know, you might like chicken. You might, she might hate chicken. So you have to switch stuff up. You know, grill it. Nothing's. You should never deep fry, but you gotta stay away from. It. And I mean, and can you not ever have it? You can have it. I mean, seriously. Come on. I eat it sometimes. Big deal. So what do you eat for breakfast? Milk go to coffee. So you girls are you still doing protein shakes? Oh no. I can't find one that I like. Okay, are are you doing what are you doing protein? I just finished up a thing What do you what kind of do you use? Do you you remember ISO is it? Like okay. Weight base. Weight, base. Weight, 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 yeah. Okay, most of the like weight, it. Two, you didn't like it? No. Okay, here's yeah, what I would taste. suggest you. I, I was going to show you. I, 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 I used to have my own supplements, I mean, but I, I'm not going to that. But what I want you to do is you need to get an ISO protein. Milk. Okay. That's what you want, okay? So what it does is, is once you get an ISO weight protein, it just breaks down into your system. There's no gut act reaction, no bloating, you know, and you drink it with water. Ice water. You can put it with milk if you want. Yeah, almond milk's fine too. Very good almond milk. So I mean, but I'm just saying, it's something you can take that gets in your bloodstream like that. And that's what, like I'll take, like I'll get, like I say, with my breakfast or whatever I have. So normally when I come in here before I hit, hit the gym, I like to get, uh, it, if I'm going to eat a meal, it's at least an hour and a half before I come in here. Hour and a half, at least for me. And if I'm going to, if I'm just going to have a shake, an hour. You want to be hydrated. That's another very important thing. Hydrated. So don't be afraid to drink as much water as you can. And, and but protein too. I mean, you're spot on. I mean, protein really important to have that that weight shake like right after you get it working out because your body it needs protein right away. And also, like you said, you have scrambled eggs in the morning. That's great because all night you've had no protein in your body, so it's going to need it right away if you can. A lot of people don't eat right away, but getting that some protein in right away in the morning is also real, real important. You know. So I don't eat breakfast, and I know that's bad. Yeah. Um, I drink coffee, yeah. and then so if I had like a protein shake in the morning, is that sufficient? Absolutely. It's sufficient. Okay, here's or? here's what we got to remember. The only thing, the only thing I, I, I stress, definitely, it's definitely okay. But you have to remember one thing: 
you, the, the, the protein is, is a supplement, okay? And you can use it as a supplement, especially for that time, but you don't want to do like four or five of them and not eat food. I used to do BCAs, okay? And that was how, you know, I drink that throughout my workout, okay? Basically what it does is it keeps your, your body into nitrogen balance for your muscles, okay? So we're feeding protein and nitrogen in to keep my muscles all time. They're feeding throughout the, my workout, plus it's keeping me hydrated, okay? So then, after the studies came out, uh, you know, everything changes and changes, so they come out with one. Basically, the difference between BCAAs and e e EAAs are the, the BCAAs are three amino acids, okay? And the th you need those three, but the EAs are nine, and you need all nine. So why would you buy for the ones when you can take all nine? I mean, a multivitamin, yep, obviously you should be taking. I mean, and that's why I'm saying. That's why I think, as far as coming in here, once you step in, once you step in the door, that's half the battle right there. And then you need to talk to somebody. They can kind of guide you a little bit, get your feet wet. I mean, yeah, it's, it's important just to stay, uh, to get set up, make sure you're hitting every body part. And again, make sure you're performing right, because what you don't want to do is come in here, have bad form, and not hurt yourself, and all of a sudden you're back out of the gym again. So real, real important just to make sure, uh, and I'd be more than happy uh, to send you out the program, just to make sure you're doing everything correctly, make sure you're hitting everything. Because like a lot of people come into the gym, and I see some, some kids, they, wanted, they, wanted, they, they love working chest. They work chest all day long, but they neglect their back. So now so you're kind of out of balance, but right? now this part's getting strong, now you're weak back here, and now again you're you're risk to hurt, to hurt yourself. Right. So and it's you really know, important. For somebody coming into this, you know, go to this machine, go over there, go over the, you're, you're all out of whack. For somebody that don't exactly. know right. exactly what they're doing. Yeah, you don't know what that machine does. Right. And, well, but yeah, you want to make sure you get your arm day, your leg day, you know, whatever, that imbalance. That, exactly. Yeah. And that's I, what. That's why I say that's the difference between coming in and having somebody set you up. You don't need to follow you around 24/7. I mean, unless you, you know, if, if you need some help, then you go talk to them. It's as simple as that. And then you, know, you get two chickens. Well, you I don't mean, get it, but you know, for us to do it, you know, get our friends to come. You know, and say, yeah. hey, it's not so bad. Right. You know, so not so you. intimidating. That's huge because intimidating, that's the word. We, we own the gym, mm -hmm. and I was very intimidated. Like, And I've always been active. I was a gymnast when I was younger, but when it came to working out, I didn't know what to do. And Brian and I couldn't go to the gym at the same time. So I was just kind of, I'd come in and I was kind of lost. So then I got a partner and we started Googling things, and Brian showed me a few things and made sure that I knew form on. I, I don't know. I still don't know if I'm doing it right. But I try. I mean, I, I try. He shows me what I need to do when I'm doing certain things. So I try to like figure it out in my head. Okay, this is what I'm supposed to be working. So, but it, he'll help me. Um, See, that's just it. Her being like that at one point in time. There's been times where she's in here with one of her girlfriends trying to figure something out. She'll approach somebody now. You gotta, everybody's body's different. We all are shaped differently. We store fat in different areas. Just like, you know, when you first start out, like Jerry was saying, you're gonna lose a bunch of pounds in the beginning. That's gonna be the water retention in your body. Then after that, it's gonna be your fat deposits. And then visceral fat is what comes last. And that's gonna be the tough one. That's gonna be the tough one. That's what's gonna take you a while at the very end of it. But uh, yeah, like I said, there's all kinds of information. Research your body type, you know, get online. There'll be graphs and everything else you can go through. Try to find a calorie intake, a protein intake, what diet fits best for you, for what you like to eat, you know. Uh, like we were saying, the almond milk and the shake. It's a big thing because a lot of this stuff don't taste too great, you know. So you gotta kind of alter it to the way where you can get it in there. It's 80% what you're eating, 20% what you're doing in here. But uh, again, don't be afraid to ask. You know, you're in here for you. One thing, Jerry, you were talking a lot about the supplements and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I've come in here and I don't take any, I've never even used a supplement ever. And I know there's a lot of people like me don't want any part of it. Like, does, is that an issue? Like, I mean, I, we don't want we don't want people to come into the gym and think, oh, it's not going to work if there's no supplement. No, so that's... I don't want to buy supplements. Okay, wanna, here's the difference between supplements. Do supplements work? Okay. But, but we want to get our supplements from our food. Okay, realistically, okay. Do I, I, I definitely suggest you take a multivitamin. Get a woman's multivitamin, and that's probably all you really need, other than the protein. I would definitely suggest you take the protein. Probably, probably trying to burn some calories, you know, the less that you eat in the morning, if you're gonna come in here and do cardio, the better it's gonna be for you, because it's gonna spike your metabolism, and it's gonna essentially burn more fat, you know. 
But uh, if you got a lot in your gut and you come to here and do cardio, you know your body's working at burning that before it's burning anything else. Okay, so, so like coming in like after work, because I don't I don't get into town till like six o'clock. Uh, like coming in after work. So where you you look working streeter? No, I'm not in streeter anymore. I'm in Peru. Okay. So to drive in, mm -hmm. change you know change clothes at work, drive right here. What is something that I can eat? and when before coming in because I, I you know my lunch hour is from noon to one okay, so, so when's the last time you eat by one o'clock so you eat at one o'clock and you're off at what time i get off at 5 30. 5 30 so, you, so and when you say you're coming to the gym so are you hungry oh yeah you so i'm hungry before i get okay, home okay so this is what i would suggest you do you eat at one o'clock okay now again we this is i'm just going to throw this at you because okay. i don't know what your your calorie intake is right okay so i'm just going to throw this at you Okay, so I'd have my, my, my one o'clock meal, okay? Then at three o'clock, I'd grab some almonds. I'd have like, let's just say, just say 10 almonds, okay? 10 almonds, and maybe have a protein shake with that, okay? That's what I would do. You know, now again, that's just, I'm just throwing that at you. I'd have to, to tell you if that was gonna work, we'd have to fit it, you know, calorie-wise. But that, that way, you're, when you, by the time you get to, by the time you drive from Ottawa to Streeter, that's got to say, at least 45 minutes to an hour. Well, if it's three o'clock, you're you got even longer than that. But I would say you could have a you know, if uh, when are you when do you start to really start to get hungry? About two two thirty. So say say three three thirty. Okay. So actually, that if you're not getting to the gym till six, you could you know you definitely could do that. You know, and then that see how that makes you feel. And then like I say, before you on your way home on your way just be drinking some lemon water you know that will also you know curb your appetite a little bit and then see how you feel that way and if it's still if it's still if it's still not if you're still coming in here hungry then what I would suggest is we'll go one o'clock three o'clock and then you have to pop something kind of you know 45 minutes before the long drive because I mean you don't want to come in here hungry that's that's Here's a trick I use now. Again, this is something I do that these guys could do, but I don't know if it'd be right for you. We'd have to figure it out. I use. You ever eat rice cakes? Okay, you can cheat. Rice cakes are a pretty good cheating carb. They're real low in carbs. What I do is I take a rice cake. All right, I'll take natural peanut butter, put natural peanut butter on it, and then I'll use. Jam I use preservatives. You can use jelly, but preservatives are a little bit better with sugar release. And I'll put that on there. That's instant protein, instant carb shot into your body that'll kill my appetite. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm coming in the gym, I'm not super heavy. I've had something in my stomach that's not really gonna mess up my blood flow to digest my food in my system, but also I'm not gonna come in here feeling like, you know, I, I have- through the workout. Right, and like and, but, it, right, yeah, you don't wanna, come, I'm serious, you don't wanna come in here on, my buddy, he can, I, I can't do that. But it's not good for you, first of all. So that would, you know, something like that. You got to find something, you know, that that you enjoy. You know, even probably some like celery or something like that. You know, I'm, I'm just saying some kind of vegetable. You don't want to come in here hungry, mm -hmm. seriously, because what happens is you're going to get like hypo, and then you get you, you get like a hypoglycemic, you know, a little bit. You get the shakes a little bit because you're probably that's probably where you're at. You know, it matters where you're. You know, it's all about your insulin level. You know, that's another thing that we could talk about. Like I say, you have to, it's a good idea to kind of, you know, fluctuate, know what your your your, your numbers are for your sugar and stuff like that. That's very important too. You know, I, mean, I go into the doctor and have all my stuff done at least every four months, my blood work. And the other thing, I'm, I'm, I mean, this is individual. I'm not a big person stretching before I come in here, okay? I'll stretch a little bit. I don't like stretching more cold muscles, okay? So I do a lot of I do a lot of pump stuff, a lot of you know real light weights. I mean pumps. I'll do I do probably 20 sets before I even actually work out just to pump blood in the area. That's how I loosen up, and I'll stretch a little bit as I my muscles are warm. So I don't really believe you know. So that's another thing you gotta have to be careful with. But like I say, the main thing is get yourself uh, you know get yourself warmed up, and that's when like I say he'll have you set up for what, what you're gonna do that day. You know, there's all kinds of routines to do. You only wanna come three days a week or you wanna come five days a week. It can all be, it can all be divided up that'll work for you. If you got, you know, if you have, you know, you wanna work on your rear end, your boots, you wanna work on tri your back, your arms, your shoulders, 
there's umpteen million thousand exercises you can do. Like I say, this has to be done right. I mean, and then you can, you know, you can run chest and shoulders together, chest, tri shoulders together, back, you know, push, pull. There's all kinds of, you know, like body type. By the way, like you said, I'm body type, but I go by your body type and what areas you need to target, what areas you need to hit. You know, to touch base with Jerry on the, the pre-workout mail, as far as seeing your doctor and getting all your numbers and stuff, just like with me, I go and get my stuff tested every four months as well. My iron count was through the roof. So I stopped taking, you know, uh, my supplements and uh, some of the vitamins I was taking and I started really fine tuning what I was doing, just like uh, with cinnamon to spike your sugar metabolism, because I cheat. I cheat all the time. I have cheat days all the time. Believe me, I have kids. I can't help myself. But uh, as far as the pre-workout meal, as we get older, you know, your digestive system lacks in a lot of ways. You need to look at the probiotics like you can eat uh, some kind of natural fruit before you come in in a protein shake or uh, some Greek yogurt with the fruit in it because then you get your natural sugar and you get a probiotic. So, and uh, yeah, like seeing your physician is, is definitely a big thing before you jump into this because overall you want to make sure you're healthy. You want to make sure your body's able to do it. I mean, you don't want to be in here killing yourself and something's underlying wrong, you know, and just making it worse. So I definitely get checked out and, uh, but uh, yeah, definitely it's, it's all about what you eat before you come in. Eat clean. You need to think, what is my body going to digest quickly? And it's not going to sit in there and drag it down. Really. Cardio, you got to do at least 20 minutes. If you're not doing at least 20 minutes straight cardio, you're wasting your time. Because it takes at least 20 minutes for anything to even work. If I was you know, setting you up, I don't want you in here longer than an hour and a half. If you're in here longer than an hour and a half, you're with looking, any of this? Anything. You're in here too long. Two hours max. Get you a calendar notebook, get you a notebook, you know, a lot of people get the phone apps. Me, myself, I don't believe a lot of the phone apps work because nobody's going to stick to them. There's so many different ads and so many different pop-ups on there. Get online, print some stuff out, get you a notebook, write down the days that you're doing what. You can even write down how many calories you're taking so you can keep track of it. Keeping a log of that kind of stuff is really important when you're trying to step into that lifestyle and lose some weight and get to where you want to be, you know what I mean? Get a folder, I mean, get a bag that you leave everything and leave your supplements in it, your folder, your notebook, so it's all in one spot. You grab it, you toss it in your car, you come up here, you got everything you need, you know where you're at, you know what you're doing. If, I, if somebody is new to the gym and has never worked out or worked out and just wants some help, I mean, just come come to me, stop at the desk, uh, have them get a hold of me, we'll schedule an appointment. What I basically do, I'll, I'll set the person down, and I, I do it for no charge. I just want to help people. We just want to make people feel better about themselves. So we'll sit down, we'll look at your, your schedule, how many days a week you're going to be coming in. Because if you're coming five days a week, it'll be a whole different program if you're coming three days a week. You know, so, you, so, so I'll develop a program to make sure you're hitting everything, um, depending on your schedule, how long you're going to be here. And then uh, and after that, I'll walk you through everything. I'll touch base with you every once in a while, make sure you're doing it right, make sure you're doing it safely. And then if you need some help, I mean, you'll have my phone, give my phone number, you text me, say, hey, well, what's this? I forgot about this. What do I need to do here? I'm more than happy to help. And again, Jerry will be here, other people. There's always somebody here willing to help. But a big thing, come in first, uh, sit down, talk to you, see what your goals are, and take the program and, and go from there. So. Um, part of the reason we did this is because there's a lot of, uh, especially women, are afraid of weight. So I, I kind of want to touch just for a second before he leaves on why should we do weights versus just cardio because a lot of people just come in and think that cardio is all they need in order to lose weight but that's even I thought I needed to do more cardio and I feel I've lost a lot more since I've been um, well, doing weights. First of all, there's no there's no reason not to do weights. First of all, I mean obviously the stigma is women are going to get this massive body type. It's not going to happen. So, like I say, everybody gets caught up in weight. You know, a woman's purse weighs 20, probably 20 pounds itself. You pick up a kid that's 45 pounds. So, which weight? You understand what I'm saying? So everybody gets caught up in. Oh my God, they're going to get as big as this guy. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not it's not going to happen. Now, can I? Can we do it? Oh, I guarantee I can put some size on you. If you really want, I mean, that's when we're going to really push, 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 push heavy weights. But there's a difference between lifting heavy weights and then force reps, negative reps. And that's what's really going to, that'll really bulk you up when you start pushing that kind of stuff. But, but you've got to, you've got to physically, physically put muscle str under stress, okay? So that's where I'm talking about blood. I'm big into blood volume, okay? So we're pushing all the blood into the muscle. Swelling the muscle up, that's where the pump comes from. Everybody's all about the pump. That's where that comes from. So we're forcing the blood in there. And again, blood's a healing agent. So if you got a problem, what's the doctor do? 
exercise, rehab, pushing blood into the muscle. So that's rehabbing that muscle at the same time. And that's why it all comes down to when we get done, when we're, when we're the food wise, you're pushing nutrition into the muscle. So when you're here, like she's asking about lifting heavy weights, yeah, heavy weights for her. So 25 pounds dumbbell curls is heavy for her. 75 pound dumbbell curls is heavy for him. You're doing the, he's doing eight reps, she's doing eight reps. It's the same outcome. It, it does number, it's just like age. Age is a number, it doesn't mean nothing. As long as you don't let it become something. So don't be afraid. I mean, and like I say, that's why he's here, I'm here. Well, um, we have a group of girls that come in um, every weekday at 5.30. And they cycle in and out. We don't all come at the same time. I mean, not everybody's here every day. And that's no big deal. Some people come once a week. Some people come four times a week. Um, some three times a week. Every day we kind of do a different um, workout. And there's, you know, sometimes three or four of us. Sometimes five. Sometimes six of us in this little area. And we do um, stuff with the dumbbells. We do stuff with the kettlebells. We do... Um, we do the machines, we do whatever, and, um... I don't, well, I don't get into town until like six. Okay. <clears throat> if there's ever a time you want me to come later, I'll come. Um, and I'm sure some of some of the other girls that would. Um, and we do, it's mostly weight training. But there's so much cardio in it, so we do things really fast, so that we're doing cardio and we're like, okay all out of breath and, and I've never felt like I've worked out this hard before so I mean it's huge for me I've, I'm loving it and I didn't like to work out so <laughs> I mean I really didn't and here's another thing that we talked about earlier that um, wasn't on film um, I've been doing this for three months now and I haven't lost a pound not a single pound and it was kind of frustrating but my clothes fit better um, I, my butt doesn't jiggle quite as much as it did <laughs> um, <laughs> and I, I, I feel I feel better. So I know it's working. I know that um, I'm not losing weight, but everything's tighter. So I do feel better, and, and I'm actually seeing muscles. So I mean, and I'm not bulking up, and I I am working. I'm I'm working heavy weight. So I don't feel like I'm bulking up. I don't feel like my legs are getting better. They're getting smaller. Um, but I have not lost a single pound, so I just have to keep telling myself it's important. Yeah, it's important. Try not to let that frustrate you. Don't get out of shape quick, and you're not going to get back into shape quick. Exactly. That's exactly. It's going to take us time, but we're here, right? What'd you say? I wish I could snap your fingers. I'd be rich if I could do that. And try not to worry about the scale, because that's I mean that's really not what you want to look at. I mean that shouldn't be what you're judging yourself by is what that scale says. Because you're gonna be gaining. I'm bad at it. I'm bad at it. Oh, I tell you, everybody's bad at it. I am doing it. My wife's bad at it. Because you you feel that sense of accomplishment if you if you step on the scale and you see five pounds off there. I'm gonna have my husband hide it. You can use it. You just have to understand that if it if if it's going up and down that it's you it's just not reliable. It's as simple as that. You just when you gain nine pounds. Exa and that's what? Water. Exactly. So you have to remember it's a mind F is what it is. You, 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 it, just, it messes with you, just like what she's saying. It's it's actually depressing, kind of. It is. I mean, it really is. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just like depressing us trying to get bigger and it don't happen. You know, it's the same thing. It really is. And then muscle is much more dense, much more heavier than fat. So, so I mean, you got you to... Gotta, Pound of muscle would be here, and then a pound of fat will be here. You know, so it's, so that's a that's a big thing. It really the scale is just not important at all. So. Yes, and the, and the fact that we all kind of meet here at 5:30, and if somebody's not going to come, we always know somebody's still still here waiting for us. Like somebody wants us to be here to work out with them. So it's almost like you feel like if you don't come, so it's, it's okay to let yourself. Yeah, it, it's okay sometimes to let yourself down, but don't let down the person that you're. You know, yeah, so it really helps. Yeah. And I always feel better once I'm here. So, yeah. yes, yes, we'll always make sure that um, it's okay to be filmed yeah. <laughs> because a lot of people, a lot of women don't like it, and we're perfectly fine with that. Anybody who's a member of the Edge that's a woman, um, there is a women's page um, that we post workouts on. I'm hoping that people will actually start talking on there and asking questions and um, kind of talking about what their issues are. You know, like I'm, I'm really having trouble. I'm not 
doing something right and we'll try to help you. Um, That's and Ladies of the Edge. It's Ladies of the Edge yeah. and, and it's for members only. For, for and um, it's for women only. So nobody what? sees, nobody <laughs> except us women. No wonder I didn't get my joint there. back. No, yeah. Just um, so if you post something on there and you're embarrassed and you don't want a guy to hear what you're saying or say or see a picture of you doing whatever, it's women only. So and you know things that I might be thinking and just say it, somebody else might be wondering the exactly. same thing and just didn't yes. want to ask. Well, exactly. I'm gonna, exactly. If I want to know, I'm gonna ask. If exactly. that makes me look dumb or not, I'm gonna throw it out there and ask. We awesome. want that. We want that on that page. Yeah. So. And um, we've posted workouts from when we were working out, the six of us up here. Um, sometimes I'm really bad at remembering to post it. Um, sometimes I go weeks without posting it. I'm really trying to get better at that. Things get busy and I just kind of don't get a Social chance to Social media, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, so um, I try to stay up with it. Sometimes I'm not really great at it. But I'm hoping that other people will post. Like, hey, I had a great workout today. This is what I did. Um, hey, this is my meal plan. Um, this is working for me. You know, everybody give each other ideas and pump each other up. So we're kind of hoping for that. And love the music. Yeah. Um, it's different every time you come in here. It depends on who's working, who's in here. And you, <laughs> you can always love it. <laughs> and you can always um, suggest a station if you come in. <laughs> All right, but we're definitely, uh, I appreciate everybody, uh, everybody listening. I appreciate having a couple, couple of members. It's been great having you guys here. Um, again, Jerry, James, Lloyd, Janet, Gregory coming in, filming us. I appreciate it all. So, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.